give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to grieve. Grieve whatever it is that's coming to a close, coming to a sur to the surface of your awareness. It could be that experience you weren't able to have. It could be grieving a chapter that you're choosing to close, something you're choosing to walk away from. You could be feeling an intense pull that you could name as grief, and it could be an experience that you aren't able to have in this lifetime that is associated with something in another timeline or lifetime. So as you choose to elevate, take the higher road, have some compassion for yourself because you may, I want to use like, like that fear, you don't, when you choose to have the higher road, you don't have that fear of missing out energy. And at the same time, it doesn't mean that you don't have some sort of grief or feelings around something you weren't able to obtain, achieve, or experience. Satnam, Amadevi here offering a collective message, general reading. As always, take what resonates and disregard the rest. Let's see what the cards have to say. I feel like this has to do with an experience um, for many of you in another lifetime. Um, I, I just feel like this, there's some sort of energies like with this portal, this opportunity of change. Um, you, you could be experiencing grief associated with another lifetime. Yeah, Six of Cups is about past life energies, connections, managing in the material, so doing what's best, taking the steps from the bigger picture, Knight of Swords, um, is often like this quick moving energy, um, but you might be choosing something a little bit more strategic than quick. Uh, Boundaries could be important at this time to ensure that the endeavors that you're choosing to carry out for the greatest good um, are handled with care so the energy doesn't continue to pull and tug at you. And that, that might be something that has to, you have to continually um, like cut cords, say prayers and elevate your energy and standards. It's, it's an ongoing process. Just think about like, weeding your flower bed and the cyclical energy of caring for that garden. Uh, and you only want specific roots to take hold in your space. And with that strong attachment and these simultaneous experiences in other timelines, these roots, it takes work to, to sever them and they need to be cut, healed and addressed with love. Use your intuitive insight, your your intuitive guidance. If you're feeling someone's energy pull at you, you know, it, it, it might go beyond words of what's happening, uh, but trust, trust the depth of the connections you experience and the healing that you're learning to implement for yourself and call in for others. I guess it's important to say that like the healing isn't like a one and done. Once you like, let's say you do a past life regression session, and you're like, oh, though well, that's why X, Y, Z happens. It doesn't mean that it's complete. You know, it, you have a level of awareness and there might still be work to be done and that the other timelines are still shifting around based on all the connections, you know, like it's not just you, it's who that other individual is connected to and then who they're connected to. So it's more than just you and you see that. That's what the, I say King of Pentacles. This is the night slower versus fast. Strategic 
versus quick. Uh, so perhaps if you have a choice, like a choice is being laid out and, and the, this isn't for everyone. Let's say you've got a, a choice of what uh, between two chapters in, in life. Sometimes that quicker um, energy can cause despair and that slower energy can be overlooked, right? Because sometimes those those quicker energies know how to play a game to lure you in. Think about like gassing you up, to, you know, uh, anything is possible. So. Ancestral roots come to mind. And perhaps grieving in the energy, like you could be healing ancestral trauma, which requires a different path, a different workload, a different energy frequency in this lifetime for you to rise above. And it might be you stepping away from certain things that traditionally speaking, require your time and care because the higher road, what's for the greatest good might mean stepping away, holding back from what you want for what's best. The Six of Cups is really standing out. Um, connections with deeper roots of integrity And it feels important to speak to like your blood family, uh, you know, like if that is an unhealthy situation for you to be in, it's okay to step away from traditions to what's best for you. It doesn't mean that you still grieve the loss of the traditions, holidays, or experiences you don't have. Cutting cords is coming up again. Sometimes um, this Knight of Swords knows two things, like knows how to play the game but also if, if your frequency isn't, uh, I don't want to like do a blame game. That's something I'm trying to say here. What I'm saying is sometimes you can pick up on the energy and desire of others, right? And you fall into a path, a connection, uh, not understanding that sometimes what you feel is what others are feeling and you have rights and feelings of your own. So take that time to check in, check in with your guide team, your galactic, galactic council of what's best to manage your energy and check in on what timeline you're working with and what frequencies are important to elevate in other timelines, like what healing is involved here. So it's not about desire, it's about what's for the greatest good. And speaking into existence, even your boundaries, that prayer, that forward moving thought over what would feel good in that moment. Think about Jeff Olson's like success is a sum of small efforts, like a small parts, like it requires due diligence to manage your mindset. At the same time, you can give yourself permission to grieve and feel as you see something for the greatest good through to the end.
Um, might also want to look at the book from Tom Ballas, uh, Dancing with All Things. I taught at Ty Sophia. Helps with uh, conflict resolution, giving daily practices mindset using the five element theory. Traditional Chinese medicine. Knight of Pentacles is standing out. So creating habits that last, healthy habits that last, practices. And like it's not about perfection, it's about implementing practices and developing levels of awareness. That's different than a quick fix the Knight of Swords provides. I'm getting the word elixir. Hold yourself. Hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself with love. This fresh new beginning requires you to shed a layer, layers of yourself that no longer serve, layers of yourself that you didn't deserve to experience. Layers of yourself that you weren't able to experience. Could be some sort of secrecy. More of just happening on a deeper level. As you choose this path, you know, if you go right, that means these stores <laughs> and this bridge is that way. And which means you don't go to... Uh, give me light code. Okay. Uh, so you're working in a different dimension than you were in the past. So you're seeing things completely different now. And in the process, unraveling what was. But love yourself through the process. Oh, love those wounds. Love those insecurities. Think of the star, like the scars of stars to help you navigate. Mm. Follow your dreams. I'm sorry, this deck, I hope it's not too harsh for you, but this deck was calling out. This is oh, the spiritual gangster deck. Funny. <laughs> and then if you want to screenshot a practice. Oh, okay. Now I understand why. There's a process to grow through. You can't, like, not pass go. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't skip the steps. If you want a screenshot for a practice, screenshot that for a practice. And there might be support that you need, professional or otherwise. You give your angels permission to step in to hold you. And you might be reluctant to reach out for help because you've been forced to do things on your own. And sometimes your, your angels let you do things on your own. It's part of the process of learning, right? Learning to walk. Your parents couldn't prevent you from falling, right? You, you know what I'm saying? Like those steps. And I'm sorry if you didn't have parents. And the, but whatever it was you, you were missing, lacking, you know, just honor that. That you deserved better in the past, right? If, if you need some sort of professional support or support from your guide team, like reach for that. Your intuition will guide you. There might be a particular practice or healing practice you need, book that would serve. Okay. So don't de deny yourself access to the care that you need at this time. Let's see, I flipped out. Um, Oh, 
Okay, so uh, flip it around, flip it around, flip it around, okay? And they're giving the words elemental, like elemental theory. Notice where your roots began and where they're at. Who connects to you at the heart? And value that energy frequency over what happens in the material. Whether you've got to close the chapter or not, close the door. Mm, give me something like you might have been asked to put in, like you might feel like you're being like put in <laughs> time out and it, it might be that you, you need that time to give yourself some love. Give yourself the love that you didn't receive time to process and just honor the sacrifices you've made on this path. Because you could see clearly something more and you were guided elsewhere. Do you hope this serves well? Sending lots of light and love on your path. Set up.